Victor Frankl was born as the second of three children in Vienna in 1905 to Elsa and Gabriel Frankl. His father was the director in the Ministry of Social Science, prompting an early interest for Victor into psychology. In secondary school, he wrote a paper titled The Psychology of Philosophical Thinking. After graduation from the gymnasium in 1923, Frankel studied medicine at the University of Vienna and later specialized in neurology and psychiatry, concentrating on the topics of depression and suicide. His early development was influenced by his contacts with Sigmund Freud and Alfred Adler, although later he would diverge from their teachings. From 1933 to 1937, Frankel completed his residency in neurology and psychiatry at the Steinhoff Psychiatric Hospital in Vienna. He was responsible for the so-called Suicide Pavilion. Here he treated more than 30,000 women who had suicidal tendencies. In 1937, he established an independent private practice in neurology and psychiatry in Vienna. Beginning with the Nazi takeover of Austria in 1938, Victor was prohibited from treating Aryan patients due to his Jewish identity. In 1940, he started working at the Rothschild Hospital, where he headed its neurological department. This hospital was the only one in Vienna to which Jews were still admitted, and his medical opinions saved several patients from being euthanized during the Nazi euthanasia program. On the 25th of September, 1942, Frankel, his wife Tilly Grosser, and his parents were deported to the Nazi Theresienstadt ghetto. There, Frankel worked as a general practitioner in a clinic. When his skills in psychiatry were noticed, he was assigned to the psychiatric care ward in Block B4, establishing a camp service of psychohygiene or mental health care. He organized a unit to help camp newcomers overcome shock and grief. And in 1943, Frankel organized a closed event for the Scientific Society at Theresienstadt and with the help of Leo Bach, offered a series of open lectures including sleep and sleep disturbances, body and soul, medical care of the soul, existential problems in psychotherapy, and social psychotherapy. During this time, his father Gabriel died of a pulmonary edema and pneumonia at the Jewish ghetto. On the 19th of October, 1944, Frankel and his wife Tilly were transported to the Auschwitz concentration camp where he was processed. After three years in concentration camps, serving both as a slave laborer and later a physician, Frankel was liberated by American troops. His mother, brother, and wife, however, all died in the concentration camps. His sister Stella, the only other survivor, emigrated to Australia after the war. Frankel returned to Vienna, where he developed and lectured about his own approach to psychological healing, logotherapy. After enduring the suffering in these camps, Victor validated his hallmark conclusion that even in the most absurd, painful, and dehumanized situations, life has potential meaning, and that therefore, even suffering is meaningful. This conclusion served as a strong basis for his logotherapy and existential analysis, which Frankel had described before World War II. He is quoted as saying, what is to give light must endure burning. Frankel believed that people are primarily driven by a striving to find meaning in one's life, and that it is this sense of meaning that enables people to overcome painful experiences. Frankel wrote his world-famous book entitled Man's Search for Meaning. In this book, he described the life of an ordinary concentration camp inmate from the objective perspective of a psychiatrist. In 1948, Frankel earned a Ph.D. in philosophy. His dissertation, The Unconscious God, is an examination of the relation of psychology and religion. Nearly seven years later, in 1955, he was awarded a professorship of neurology and psychiatry at the University of Vienna, and as a visiting professor, he resided at Harvard University 
at Southern Methodist University in Dallas and Duquesne University in Pittsburgh. He lectured and taught seminars all over the world and received 29 honorary doctoral degrees. Frankel published 39 books, which were translated into as many as 40 languages. Victor Frankel's Logotherapy and Existential Analysis is considered the third Viennese school of psychotherapy among the broad category that comprises existentialists. For Irvin Yalom, Frankel, who has devoted his career to a study of an existential approach to therapy, has apparently concluded that the lack of meaning is the paramount existential stress. To him, existential neurosis is synonymous with a crisis of meaninglessness. Victor Frankl died on September 2, 1997. Having used his experiences in World War II to develop new avenues for modern psychotherapy, he is considered to be one of the last of the great Viennese psychiatrists.